This tutorial is all about trading the oil markets. In this video, we're going to take a look at the two different types of oil that you can trade with Trading212, and we'll talk about the differences between those. We'll also run through an example of an oil trade, and then we're going to talk a little bit about expiry and a new rollover feature that allows you to extend the life of an expiring position beyond its expiry. So do keep watching to the end of the video to hear about that. Hello, I'm Peter Martin with Trading212, and we add educational videos about trading the financial markets to YouTube on a regular basis. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the red subscribe button, because that's the easiest way to learn whenever we've added some new content to YouTube. Well, let's begin by looking in Trading212's app at its oil markets. So here we are in Trading212's web app, and we're looking at my watch list that I set up for energy. So you can see the three commodity markets that are in there. We've got two different types of oil and gas, which is natural gas. So we have one type of oil and then another one that says oil Brent. And they both have different expiry dates put next to their name. So the expiry date shows us that these are futures contracts. So let's talk a little bit both about the difference between these contracts and about those expiries. So we saw there in the app two types of oil, trading at two different prices, and they're based on what are considered two major oil benchmarks. The first one that we saw, it's called just oil in the app, is a CFD that is analogous or equivalent in some ways to crude oil futures that trade on the New York Mercantile Exchange, or NYMEX, which is part of CME. And this type of oil is also known as West Texas Intermediate, or WTI. Now, futures contracts on an exchange are standardized types and quantities of a certain product for delivery at a specified date in the future at a price that is agreed now. So this type of oil is a price for delivery at a specified date of an oil of a certain grade, and the delivery point happens to be an oil hub in a place called Cushing in Oklahoma in the United States. Now, the second type, which we saw, was called oil Brent in the app. That's a CFD that is analogous or equivalent in some ways to the Brent crude futures that trade on the Intercontinental Exchange, or ICE. And this is sometimes referred to as North Sea Oil. Once again, the grade of oil here is slightly different, and the delivery point is a place called Salem Vo, which is an oil terminal in the Shetland Isles. Now, both in a general sense represent the price of oil, but these Geographical differences in delivery points have an impact on the pricing of each. For example, refining activity around Cushing, Oklahoma, let's say, will have a bigger impact on WTI. Oil surpluses or shortages in the Middle East, let's say, may tend to impact Brent more, as it's easier to ship oil from the North Sea to the Middle East than from the American heartland. Here we are in the web app again, looking at these two oils. Note that they are trading at different prices. The Brent crude oil is trading currently at a significant premium to the crude oil price. What I'm going to do is just open up a detailed trade box. Now I'm going to reduce this uh, quantity here, my trade size down to just 200. So we've got the bid and the offer here and I've got buy selected. And what I'm also going to do is I'm going to put in a stop loss. I'm going to put this in, I want to put it roughly around about $52 a barrel. So I'm going to put that in 3.885 away. And we can see that I'm risking, that's roughly, it's just giving me an estimate of about 600 pounds. And I'm going to click confirm buy. And we can see my deal has been executed. And we see my deal at the bottom of the screen. I bought 200 of crude oil at a price of $55.885. And I've got a stop loss there at $52 a barrel. So let's use that now as a launching pad to run through some numbers for a worked example of a crude oil trade. So you just saw me buy 200 of crude oil at a price of 55.885. So what are the units that we're talking about? Well, that 200 is actually 200 barrels of oil at a price of $55.885 per barrel. And then I put my stop loss at $52 per barrel. And so, that stop was $3.885 per barrel away from where I opened my position. 
So with a stop loss of $3.885, the amount that I would lose if I was stopped out at my stop level would be my quantity, 200 barrels, multiplied by that stop distance, $3.885 per barrel, which gives you $777. Using an exchange rate of the pound against the US dollar of around about 1.29, that gives you approximately 600 pounds which is why in the app it was giving an indication of my risk of just over 600 pounds. Rather than falling though, let's say that the oil price in fact rises and it goes up past $56, up past $57. And I decide to sell when the bid price, that's the sell price, is $57.385. So my closing trade, I'm selling 200 barrels, that would close my position off at that sell price at the bid price of $57.385 per barrel. And then comparing where I opened and closed to work out the difference, I bought 200 barrels of crude oil at a price of $55.885 per barrel. And then I sold 200 barrels to close at a price of $57.385 per barrel to give us overall a difference of one and a half dollars per barrel. So I made one and a half dollars in my favor. That's one and a half dollars per barrel. And I had a position of 200 barrels. So to get my profit, we just multiply the two numbers together. 200 times one and a half is $300 of profit. And what that would equate to as sterling on my sterling denominated account would depend on the FX rate, but it's roughly 230 pounds based on that same FX rate we talked about before of roughly 1.29. As you may have noticed when we looked at those oil markets in the app, they each came with an expiry date. So here in the app, I've created a watch list with two different contracts for Brent crude oil. So they've got one with an expiry at the end of October and one with an expiry date there at the end of November. And we can see that they're trading at very slightly different prices. This second one with the expiry date in November is trading at a slight discount to that one with the expiry date at the end of October. Now, it's not just oil that comes with an expiry date. There's quite a few CFDs that you can trade with Trading212 that come with an expiry date. Now, you can choose to just let your position expire when it comes to that date. But I also want to tell you about a new feature that allows you to automatically roll over your position. So let's talk a little bit now about rollover. So rollover is the process of keeping a position open beyond its expiry. With an automatic rollover, if you keep a position open up to its expiry, it automatically rolls over to the next contract. So as we saw, a new contract period may have a different price. And to incorporate any difference, a rollover adjustment is made. For our rollover example, then let's say that I have an open position long 100 barrels of Brent crude and it's for a contract that's coming up to expiry. So at the expiry point, the existing contracts buy and sell price is 61.28, the sell, 61.33, the buy price. And then the simultaneous price for the new contract is 61.00 for the sell price and 61.04 for the buy price. Now I'm long, so I'm gonna automatically extend my position into the new contract. We need to make this adjustment and it relates to the buy price. We're looking at the difference in the buy price to make my adjustment. The difference there is 0.29. The new contract is 0.29 lower on the buy price. So the buy price difference of 0.29 is $0.29 per barrel. Remember my position was long 100 barrels and so the adjustment is $0.29 per barrel multiplied by that 100 barrels to give us an adjustment of $29. And that's credited to my account because the buy price of the new contract was lower than for the expiring contract. If the buy price had been higher, then we would have been deducting an amount from my account. Note also that any orders associated with a rolled position, so stop losses and take profit orders are also rolled 
and those will be subject to an equivalent adjustment that is made to their levels to take into account any premium or discount between the levels of the new contract compared to the expiring contract. Finally, pending entry orders will automatically terminate. Those won't be rolled over, they will just terminate at expiry. So let's say that my position long 100 of Brent had a stop loss to sell 100 at a price of $60.50. Now this stop loss would roll with my position because it's associated with my open position, but there would be an adjustment made to the level of that stop that corresponds with the level of the new contract in relation to the expiring contract. So there will be a sell price adjustment made to that stop loss. And just to reiterate, it's not just oil that that applies to, it's any position with an expiry date. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video looking at the oil markets. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and give us a like. Or why not share your thoughts with us in the comments section? We do read each message that we receive there. But that's all for now for me, Peter Martin and Trading212. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.